Level clipping is a level effect that allows you to clip content of a level based on a selected or a selection of closed vectors. Level clipping is a way of hiding parts of a level without permanently cropping the content. This level effect is perfect for clipping away or non-destructively removing parts of 3D content. In this video, we'll look at how this level effect works and create two examples of how you can use level clipping to expand the possibilities of your 3D clip art. Like any of our level effects, level clipping can be accessed by right-clicking on a level and choosing clipping. You'll also see our other level effect mirror mode here. If you choose clipping, you'll see that you have apply, update, and remove, the three options that you need in order to use level clipping. Now what you'll need is a single closed vector in your 2D view and a piece of 3D content on the particular level that you are going to use or that you are going to want to apply the clipping to. Simply select the 2D vector, right click on the level and go down to clipping and then select apply. You'll see that nothing changes in your 2D view, but in your 3D view, the fish has been clipped. Anything that's outside of this closed vector is clipped off and not visible. Now, as mentioned in the description at the first of this video, this is a non-destructive way of clipping your artwork. So if I select my fish now and move it around, you'll see that depending on where it's located inside of that closed vector, parts of the fish outside of that vector get clipped off. Now, if I would like to actually move the clipping vector around, I'll need to select the vector, move it to its new location, and then go back to my level effect and update where the clipping vector is located. And you'll see that now it's clipped properly. It's important to mention that you don't need to have your vector selected in order to update your clipping. If I choose to remove the level clipping from this level, I need to go up to my level again, right click on it, choose clipping, and then choose remove. This is a very simple example of how you can use level clipping. In our next demonstration, it'll get a little bit more complicated. In this example, we're going to create a house sign with a horse in it. Now, it's important to remember that I'm showing this in vCarve Pro, but these features are available in vCarve Desktop and also Aspire. So I'm going to create a new file. In this case, it's going to be a single-sided job. We're going to make this 18 inches by 10 inches. And the thickness is going to be about 0.75 of an inch. We're going to zero off our material surface. Our data will be set to the center. Because we're using 3D content, we're going to make sure that we have this modeling resolution set to very high and our appearance is going to be Canadian maple. And then we're going to click OK. Now, in this example, we're going to be using ClipArt that you get free with your Vectric software. So once you have that all downloaded and installed, you can take a look inside your ClipArt folder. First of all, we're going to look for an actual panel to create our house sign with. So if we go to Panels and Shields, we're going to take a look at Panel 22-III, and we're going to double click on that. Now, we're simply going to hold down our Shift key and actually make that a little bit bigger so it fits into our material bit better. And there we have it. Now it's always good to check to make sure that your shape height of this particular component is proper. So right now it's 0.4 of an inch. So we're going to change that to 0.5 of an inch. Press our spacebar and then click close and tile our views so we can see what's going on. The next thing we're going to need is a dish so that we can put something on our sign inside of a dish. So again we're going to go to our clip art tab and we're going to take a look at domes and dishes and we'll double click on the flat round. And what we're gonna do in our 3D view, we're just gonna size that up and you'll see that right now that component is set to be a merge component because you see this green silhouette in the 3D view. So if we go to our modeling tab, you'll see that that is true. This is set to a merge component. So if I right click on that and change that combine mode to subtract, we'll now have the recess into our sign. Now, like I said a moment ago, let's check our shape height to make sure that it is the right thickness. And we're going to make this 0.5 as well and press the space bar and press close. Now what we're going to want to do is add a horse into the middle of our sign. So let's go back to our clip art tab again and go to our animals and we'll choose the cantering Arabian horse and we'll double click on that. 
And let's maximize our 2D view so we can position this where we want it to be. And if we press F on our keyboard, our full view of our job space will fill our window. So now I'm just gonna roughly drag this out so that all I have is really just the head of my horse inside of that circle. And we'll position that right about there. That looks pretty good. Now, if we go ahead and tile our views, we're gonna see what happens. We now have the end of our horse outside of our actual plaque. And so we can use level clipping to clip away the part of the horse that we don't want or only keep the bit that we do want. So if we go to our modeling tab, we're gonna set up a brand new level. So we're gonna right click on this level and we're gonna say insert a new level. And then we're going to need a vector to start the level clipping feature. So we're going to select the flat round and using this feature called create vector boundary around selected component, we're gonna click that. And now the resulting vector is the vector we're gonna use on our clipping level. So let's select that. And then we're going to right click on level two and we're gonna apply our clipping. And right in the 3D view, you'll see that nothing has changed. That because level clipping only affects the content that is on that particular level. So if we drag our cantering horse up into that level, you'll see right away in our 3D view that the horse has been clipped. If we take a look at that, you'll see what's happening. Now you'll see also that the horse is rolling up on the edge of our dish. That's because this level is now set to be a add level. So if we right click on this level and we change that combine mode to merge, you'll see what happens now. The horse is now merged in to the sign and the dish shape. So if we expand this level, you'll see that we still have our cantering horse. And what we're gonna wanna do is make sure that the shape height of the cantering horse is equal to or less than the depth of our dish. Let's quickly change this to be 0.45, press the space bar, and you'll see now that the horse is in there. If we decide to move the location of our horse, what we can do is simply select the horse in the 2D view or 3D view and move it to where we'd like it to be. And still that clipping is in effect. The last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that we rename that level circle clip so that we can remember that this is the actual level that's being clipped by the circle. In this example, we're going to show you how to create raised text using level clipping. Now, the layout that we have right now is another house sign. And on our first level, we've got panel 2-iii, and subtracted from that is our flat round circle. On our second level, because I've named it with clip, I know this is a clipping level, and I've used the ve a vector created by selecting the dish and then going ahead and creating an outline from selected component. I'm using that vector to clip all of the components on this particular level. So it clips off all the leaves or all the bits of the leaves that are sticking outside of my circle. Now let's hide these for right now and let's create a brand new level. And we're gonna copy this flat panel up to that level. So by selecting that, holding down my control key and dragging up, I can copy that into that level and then we'll go ahead and show that. Now in my 2D view, if you take a look, I've got some text already laid out for me. If I select that text and right click on this level and choose clipping and set apply, and then tile my views, you'll see that all I have left is just the welcome text. So it's clipped away all of the panel component outside of the text welcome. And now what I can do is if I reshow these, other levels, where I change this level to be a merged level, then you'll see what happens. And now I simply just need to go ahead and adjust my shape height or my base height of this component. Let's make it a little bit thicker and I can close that down. There we have it. And that looks really quite nice. Now make sure that I go ahead and I right click on this and I choose rename for this level and I say text clip. Now if I decide that I'd like to change this text from welcome to something else, I just need to go in and select the text, go to my drawing tab, go ahead and change this to be, let me 
PLE Maple CRT, Maple Court. I can close that down. I can then go ahead and size this down a little bit. Then all I need to do with that text selected is go to my modeling tab, right click, go to my clipping and select update. And now my text, text is changed to Maple Court. In these few examples, we've only scratched the surface of how you can use level clipping to expand the possibilities of your 3D clipart library.